So, like I say, we're not building a human. Okay, this is maybe the, one of the hardest things to get across. Um, yes, humans are the most advanced example of intelligence. And it is natural to think intelligence means human intelligence, because that's the example that we have. And it's natural to assume that intelligence either requires certain traits that humans have, or um, that, uh, that intelligence will imply a certain traits. So for example, you were talk, uh, mentioning emotion, uh, human emotion involved in planning. Um, the mistake would be to assume that you that just because humans use emotional information in planning that any um, intelligent machine would have to do so. And it's really, really easy to, to anthropomorphize like that. Because, like I say, it's the only example we have. Humans are the only example we have. So, um, these traits, um, consciousness, emotion, feelings, empathy, fear, self-preservation, attention, you know, the human brain has an attention mechanism, selfish ambition, envy, jealousy, anger, deceitfulness, these are all human traits. They are not necessarily um, going to be reproduced in a in an in an artificial machine, okay? In a in a designed machine. Um, in it, as long as humans, as long as there's no spiritual component to humans, okay? As long as they are made of the same stuff of the physical universe, okay? Then, if you wanted to, we could, in principle, build any of these things into a machine. Okay, once we understand how the process, how the mechanism works, because you're built out of the same stuff of the, you're built out of the stuff of the, the, the physical universe gives us, and we could just use those same properties to build a machine. If we want to build a conscious machine, we can do so. If we want to build a, an, a, an emotional machine, we can do so. But again, we don't have to. It's not necessarily a prerequisite for intelligent behavior. So, yeah, like I was saying, the natural ten tendency to anthropomorphize AGI is misguided. And it's not ne absolutely not the case uh, that an AGI must possess any of these traits or that an AGI will necessarily develop any of these traits. Um, well, I mean, I mean let, let's think, they might not be useful, but they might. might they? Yeah, I mean, they might be. I mean, they, they might, might be, but... Consciousness for a reason, you know, there may be a reason why we have that. And it may be, it may tell us stuff more better. But we don't actually understand it that. might be or it might be like i said that we only have three pounds of brain matter and it, it's built in uh you know it, has, it only consumes 20 watts of power and um you know it's built in a particular way it's built in a biological way um but uh if you see from the introduction um the big mother 1.0 will be a supercomputer will weigh 400 tons and consume four megawatts of power doesn't we doesn't we don't have the same constraints that humans have it also ha, uh, these computers just by the way they're constructed have a precision of thought that humans simply do not have okay um but um you're right but we'll, we'll we will work out which of them are necessary and which of them aren't but it is unsafe to assume that they are necessarily um you know, uh, uh, requirements for AGI. We have basically have to start with a blank piece of paper.